Hello, everyone. Pat Dana, MMA, back with another DWCS breakdown. I don't even remember what episode this is, but I'm happy that you guys are joining me along for the ride still. So I wanted to get into this welterweight fight of this week, a pretty intriguing matchup between Jacoby Smith and Christine Savoie. So I'm going to be getting into Jacoby Smith first. Smith is from Oklahoma. He's 6'2 and with an 8 0 record. He is a former All American wrestler out of Oklahoma State and trains out of Fortis MMA currently. And he's also a pretty active fighter. This is going to be his ninth fight in three years now. And he fought in Fury FC before this. So a very respectable promotion as well. So even though Smith has that wrestling background, he's been able to grow his boxing tremendously as of late. He has some very slick boxing and pretty technical boxing as well. He has a massive right hand that holds some unbelievable power i mean the way he finishes dudes by landing his overhand right is kind of ridiculous just go to his last knockout win for example against jared mclaughlin an 18 second knockout that he just oh it was it was one of the most devastating not right hand knockouts i've ever seen smith does keep his hands a bit low when he throws and just kind of keeps his chin up and has no regard for striking defense He's very susceptible to counters as well, but he doesn't care because he has a good chin and he just wants to put it on you with his offense. He's never shown any susceptibility to being hurt, being dropped, anything like that. His chin seems very good. So I, I'm going to trust Smith that he trusts his chin and knows that he doesn't need to worry about his defense as much as he should, I guess. At close range, there was a time when Smith used to only just uncork the right hand and like elbows up close at least in like dirty boxing range but now he has developed his left hand and now his left hook is a power punch that could end a fight and potentially will end a fight if he get, is able to uncork it so that's definitely something that can't be understated is his striking has evolved to the point where he's dangerous with all of his shots now the thing is with smith on the feet he has little to no footwork head movement kind of just you know, plods forward, looking to land his offense, looking to take the fight to the ground. He's always threatening the takedown, and you need to respect it because of the grappling background he possesses. He has some great sub defense once it hits the ground, so he, it's really hard to even say like, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll just pull guard against the wrestler and you know submit him. He gets out of subs very easily. Nothing has ever even really came close to submitting him, and he's just so dominant on the ground. He bullies guys there's no other way to put it he has some ridiculous ground and pound just kind of works to these dominant positions and lets these punches go that look like they're haymakers on the feet the power that these punches generate is genuinely insane for ground and pound he dominates dudes he has so many wins on his record where he's just taking guys down ground and pounding them and the fight is over within a minute and he has some pretty massive takedowns obviously as well he just picks guys up and kind of throws them around as he pleases probably in near 80 percent or so takedowns success success rate i haven't counted the actual numbers but i'm going to estimate it's around that he is a bit less likely though to finish if his opponent is going to put up some resistance on the ground and not kind of let him do whatever he wants to them you know if they're going to try to get up if they're going to not let him transition he's more likely to just hold position and control them he has some great cardio as well he kind of doesn't show fatigue in any way physically or literally he just keeps marching forward has this very intimidating look on him constantly and just wants to put it on you at all times apart from the, his fight against Levon lewis i thought he looked like a near perfect prospect in the lewis fight his striking didn't look as good and it was a bit close in the striking exchanges and his ground game just wasn't really present the way it normally is in that fight i expect that to be a one-off time and that the jacoby smith i have seen in every other one of his fights is the jacoby smith that is Jacoby Smith. Moving into Christian Savoie now. Savoie is from Canada. He's 5'11 and holds a 10-1-1 record. He's won three championships on the Canadian regional scene, two in Elite One MMA, the welterweight and middleweight championship, and then one in FLA, which was his most recent fight. He won the title over there. So he trains out of the House of Champions, where Kyle Nelson and Diana Belbita train. So there are UFC fighters coming out of his gym. He only has three fights since 2020, though. He hasn't been the most active as of late. So his activity, you know, could definitely ramp up a bit. Savoie has a very clean jab and can hurt opponents with it very easily. It's kind of just so like well-timed and technical that it can really 
be a fight changer at any point. And he has a lot of power in his overhand, right? It's very effective. It's very powerful, and it can end a fight for sure. Savoie also has some very powerful kicks. His nasty leg kicks that just kind of chop his opponents down, and he has he has effectively weakened his opponent over fights before with those leg kicks. His clinch knees in the body are also very effective. He lands heavy in the clinch with his punches as well, kind of just throws them over the top in the clinch, and ends up hurting his opponents with big dirty boxing com like combinations i guess you could say it's really just him spamming right hands in the clinch but it's very effective because of how much power he holds when he loops that right hand over he uses different angles well on the feet and kind of you know knows how to find the openings in people's guards which is a very good tool to have Savoie has some pretty good head movement as well and some pretty good cardio he's went five rounds before but he does slow down as the fight goes, usually. His striking gets a bit lazier. He can wear himself down if he does go all out early. And he gets hit with a, a lot, but he does hold his power later into fights. He can still win by TKO later into fights. Savoy also doesn't do the best with pressure on the feet. If guys are going to, you know, put their foot on the gas and really kind of put it on him, he kind of shells up and doesn't do the best with it. Kind of just wants to clinch up against the cage and try to be safe. And he does get a bit susceptible to the body, especially when it's up close guys can guys can kind of hit him with some big shots to the body on the ground Savoy has decent tape takedowns and some pretty good top control but ooh, is his ground and pound good it's, it's very similar to Jacoby's and the fact that once they get the fight to the ground if they get into a good position on top and start raining down punches four or five good ground and pound shots could get the fight stopped just because of how much power they're landing with and how much their opponents are just giving up once they're getting hit with those shots. But with that said, Savoie doesn't have good takedown defense at all. He works out of subs, but he gets caught in them a lot and doesn't really offer much on his back. He has a no submission threat at all. He doesn't really go for them. He doesn't look for them. And he kind of will just lay on his back and get controlled at times. In the Dorjan Dokaj fight, which was just a year and a half ago, he was controlled for probably 10 minutes on the ground and just kind of dominated for the most part in that fight overall Savoie is just a grinder you know he kind of doesn't do anything too incredible but he just kind of puts it on guys over the pace of a fight and has effective ways to finish fights that he mostly relies on so for my prediction for this fight i actually think these guys are similar in a couple areas they both love their overhand right they both have a good left hook they both like to ground and pound the crap out of their opponents basically it just it, it's just going to depend on who's able to implement their game plan Savoie might have a bit of a striking advantage on the feet just overall but I think Smith just has a massive advantage on the ground here like a really big advantage on the ground and I even think that Smith could put him out in the feet in the first round with an overhand right he has the power to catch Savoie and Savoie's defense isn't good enough to avoid that punch for a long period of time so if if smith wants to uncork that right hand he very well could but i think that he'll likely just take the fight to the ground the area of the least resistance and probably try to ground and pound christian savoie out there it's either going to be smith ground and pounding him in the first round or winning a decision i think smith is probably going to ground and pound him out but there is a chance savoie catches him on the feet i just think that smith smith is the more dominant fighter with and he is a better prospect with a lot higher ceiling i feel like it's going to be a bit telling if smith doesn't win this fight because this is an opponent he very well should beat and i feel like this is a fight that was supposed to showcase his skills really so i i think jacoby smith is a really good prospect and i think he should be in the ufc give me jacoby smith i'll take the first round knockout i think he'll dispatch savoir try to push for the win on the contender series and really try to get into the ufc i want to thank you all for watching and i hope you all enjoyed episode whatever it is of my dwcs breakdowns please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one